Hey guys, so, um, sorry, I just got out of the shower and my ears are wet. Um, so, uh, this is my one month post-op update, even though I am five weeks officially, um, post-op, but I didn't do a four week, um, update, one month, um, and I nearly didn't get around to making this, so I've sort of found myself with a free five minutes, so I'm just gonna bundle four and five weeks together, because not much has changed, to be honest. Um, and call it one month. So here's my one month post-op update on my pubic phalloplasty stage two. So um, I've just had a shower. Uh, I've left my arm um, unwrapped for you for now. Uh, I am still wrapping it, um, but only on the wrist bit here. I'll show you why now. So this is what it looks like now. Um, so this bit was a scab about 10 minutes ago. Um, is now um, obviously come off in the shower, but that's not nothing to worry about. It'll it'll um, dry back up again. And this bit, which actually doesn't look that bad, is a bit that we need to keep covering. Um, I'll try and show you there. Do do do. So yeah, you can see it's still where it's shiny. Um, that's the bit we need to keep covering because that's still trying to heal. So strangely, the bit that we don't need to cover is the bit that looks like we need to cover it, and the bit that doesn't look like we need to cover it, is what we need to be covering. I think, anyway. Um, no, I'm kidding. I know, I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, you know, in the last video I showed you, it was all scabby and everything. Um, the nurse that I go and see had a field day taking off the scabs and stuff because they didn't need to be there. Um, my body was obviously just, like, you know, being a bit dramatic, keeping it all there. No need. She literally peeled off all the scabs and stuff, and uh, I was thinking, oh my god, like, it's going to be blood everywhere, and there wasn't a single drop of blood anywhere. So, brilliant. Looks so much better. Um, as far as sensation goes, it still feels a bit weird around the edges. Um, almost like I'm touching myself through, like, a jumper or something. Um, and on it, I can only feel a little bit. But, either way, it's looking really, really good. I just need it to uh, be the same colour as the rest of my arm. <laughs> so, you know, it blends in a bit better. But, you know, such is. I'm healing a lot better than I expected to. Uh, should probably get a swab or something for that. Kind of looks like that up here is where I had, um, like, a, uh, like a build-up of blood underneath the skin. What is like one layer of skin, so really, really close to the surface. And they just put a little needle in it, drained the blood away, and then ever since I've had a bit of beef with it. But um, when the surgeon seen, he was like, oh, it's fairly typical. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I'm in my pants, so no need to cover your eyes if you know me. Um, so I, I can show you my leg scars and everything else around it. Um, so um, that's my leg scar. Looking really good. Turns out this bit was a mistake. The surgeon had the machine on the wrong setting, so um, he stopped, put it on the right setting, and then started again. This scar here, I don't even know what that's for, really. Um, I don't know. And then my hematoma's still here. As you can see there, the bump. Um, so yeah, it's still there, I'm still bleeding. Um, Every day. I might even... Oh, surprisingly, I haven't actually got blood on my underwear yet. Um, so yeah, still there, still bleeding every day. This was a, a, a fresh scar, this along here. Which has obviously healed very well. Um, so yeah, all in all. Um, all healing really, really well. Um, that's, you know, pretty much why I wasn't too bothered by doing a full week update. Because it pretty much looked like this last week. Um... I do need to get something to um Okay, so um well, I probably should get some tissue or something cuz they're starting to, that's looking a bit wet, so I want to dry it before I wrap it. What's the point? Where's everything else? Oh, it's up there. It's up there. It's all good. Ah, I'm getting properly sick of wearing dressings, though, if I'm totally honest. Five weeks of wearing dressings. Although, to be fair, I've never really 
broken an arm or a leg, so I've never needed to be in dressings for this long. Even though last year, um, when I had my, my whole stomach cut open, I took all the dressings off after two weeks. That was fine. So yeah, this is bugging me a bit. So inconvenient. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so yeah, just to keep updated, everything's going really good. Um, I return to work a week tomorrow. Um, and I can't bloody wait because uh, it's dragging like a bitch. Um, and I just like to work all the time because I have no life. But yeah, um, <clears throat> in other news, I'm going up to London to see Do Dr. Christopher tomorrow. Um, and it will be filmed as well. So it's going to be like a post-op review. Um, so I'm going to speak to him again about this hematoma um, and see what he can do about that. I'm hoping to God he doesn't say, oh, how about you just stay in overnight? Because I'll be mortified. Because that'd be really inconvenient. Because I'm going up with the film crew and they're going to have to go home. So fingers crossed he won't keep me in or anything, but we'll see. Um, if he does, I'll make another YouTube video tomorrow night to let you guys know. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to call it a day. I don't want to make this video too long. Um... And uh, yeah, I'll update um, probably next week to finalise the six weeks. Um, but after that, it'll be as and when stuff is happening. Um, so see you guys next week. Bye-bye.